Uh, hello, everyone. Um, so I'm going to demo uh, search metrics. But the main idea behind it is that the uh, we want to see which versions of messages uh, thought is producing. Um, so we have to uh, consume it um, because that version is internal to the actual message. So if we start um, a consumer, um, this is in Investigator. We just uh, added logic uh, to change the mode that the investigator is uh, running in. So it's in like a metrics mode. Um, and then we start um, one of our message producers. We go to metrics. We should be able to see here uh, once, message, once messages start being produced, which will take another like, couple seconds. Um, that the default handler uh, will start creating these uh, missing from index total. Oh, wait. You this is actually these matrices. Yeah. So this this is actually a custom uh, function running right now. So instead of logging the version, um, it's log logging uh, which index uh, packages are miss missing from. Uh, I was actually going to demo the second, um, but it's good here too. So you can see that uh, from PyPI or .simple, we, this is an old version of the database with not much uh, information. So it just has five missing from uh, PyPI. Um, but if we, we can go to investigator and see actually uh, where that's happening. So instead of using the default, uh, we see this uh, register handler function uh, where we register uh, a missing package handler uh, to the metrics handler table. Um, and then we just uh, create this uh, metric and then increment it. If you wanted to use the default here too, you could uh, import that from common and just call it with the uh, events. Um, but if we comment this out, um, then it should go back to using the default handler. We'll stop this. Uh, we'll start them again. Go back to metrics. So now everything's cleared. Um, and then once uh, the producer starts uh, creating the missing package and messages again, we should start seeing the uh, the actual version of the missing package message. So we see that the uh, missing package uh, was in 174 uh, of those messages. So so the reason that use the uh, default investigator is because it run it lags behind because it's waiting for different resources so this this is supposed to keep keep up with the uh, messages we're producing because it does minimal um processing so that's it uh does anyone have any questions so uh we have investigator and we can run it in two different modes one is just accounting stuff like like producing the metrics and the other one is doing actual work correct yeah exactly so so this is one we uh, register um to this would be the same as i don't remember the name but there, there's another handler table yeah. um with another name and i created a default argument here which is that that uh handler table here okay, and um, um, I, I, I think I asked that uh, before. Um, the reason why that works out, that a single message is either processed, no, it's not either or, uh, why a single message is processed and counted is because it's different consumer groups, right? Um, yeah. On the Kafka topic, every consumer group gets every message. Yep. So if, okay. as long as the two uh, two consumers are in different consumer groups, uh, both will run and not take each other's messages. Yes. Cool. Thanks. Um, any other question?
Nice. Uh, thanks, uh, Kevin.